Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we have got this shape that has four line segments with the length 9, 12, 5, and 15 respectively. And moreover, as you can see that we have these right angles over here in this figure. And now we are going to find the value of x. In other words, we will find the value of this line segment AB. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do is we are going to manipulate this shape so that we can get a right triangle. And here's our very first step. Let's extend this line BC to some point F somewhere here and we are going to extend that thing very carefully such that this CD, this line segment and this EF are equal. And here is our much nicer looking diagram. And now since this CDEF is a rectangle, and here's the definition of rectangle. It has four angles, each measuring 90 degrees. The opposite sides of rectangle have same lengths and are parallel. So therefore, this line segment CF is going to be equal to this line segment DE and they are parallel as well. So therefore this line segment CF is also going to be 12. And furthermore this line segment CD and this line segment EF have same length as well and they are parallel. So thus CF equals to 12 and this EF has length 5. And one more thing, the line segment this BF all the way this is equal to the sum of this 12 plus 15. If we add them, we are going to get 27. So that's the line segment BF has length 27. And now we are going to connect these points E and B. This is E and this is B. We are going to connect them real, really careful. And moreover, we are going to ignore this point D. And here is our much nicer looking diagram. And furthermore, as you can see, we do not have a point D no more. And finally, we got these two right triangles. One of them is right up here, and this is another one. And now let's consider this triangle BFE. And since this triangle is a right triangle, so therefore we are going to use a Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, this side is A, this side is B, and this longest leg is C, that is we are going to calculate. And here's our Pythagorean formula, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So for A we have a 27, so this is going to become 27 square plus B in our case is 5 square equal to C square. And now 27 square is 7 29 plus that is going to become 25 equal to c square so that means c square equal to 7 6, 54 rather now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square so c turns out to be square root of 7 54. So therefore the length of this line segment EB turns out to be square root of 754. 
And now in this next step, let's consider this triangle A, B, E. And we know that this triangle is a right angle triangle as well. So therefore, we are going to use Pythagorean theorem. And here is our Pythagorean theorem once again, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, this longest leg, this is our C. And this is, I'm going to call side A. And this side is B. And we are going to calculate the value of this side A. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. A, in our case, we don't know the value. Just leave A square plus B in our case is 9 square. And C is square root of 7, 54, and then square it. So that's going to give us A square plus 81. And here square and square root, they undo each other. So we got 7, 54. Let's move this 81 on the right hand side. A square equal to 7, 54 minus 81. So A square turns out to be 7. So this is going to give, give us 673. Now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square. So we got A equal to square root of 673. And now we know that this A value is nothing more than the line segment AB, which is this one. So this line segment turns out to be square root of 673, which is line segment AB. So thus our X value turns out to be simply square root of 6. 73 are in terms of decimal it is going to be approximately equal to 25.94 and here is our final solution x turns out to be square root of 673 are approximately equal to 25.94 in terms of decimal after going through all these multiple steps. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.